Dearly beloved, just being a human being in general, we have a desire to do things in a purposeful way. The Word of God says that Jesus fulfilled the law. And as a person, we have a sense of duty that is within every person. That there is something within us that makes us want to fulfill certain things in our lives. And especially if we desire to do the right thing. But the Word of God tells us that in the fourth verse of Romans 8, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit you and i who are believers no longer live our lives trying to fulfill the law we don't walk after the law even though the law is perfect before God and was sent into the earth by God and given to Moses to give to the people. We today are not called to walk by the law itself, but rather look what the word says, that the righteousness of the law, the righteousness that is in the law might be fulfilled in us. It can be fulfilled in us because Jesus Christ fulfilled the law. And now we who are believers have the Holy Spirit of God living on the inside of us. The same Spirit that Jesus Christ had living on the inside of Him. And because of the Spirit on the inside of Him, it led Him and directed his life. Now you and I are called to come to that place where we are now sensitive to the Holy Spirit of God and now we allow the Holy Spirit who now live it on the inside of us to now lead our lives. Amen? So that's the only way that we are called to fulfill the law. Because the law is now being fulfilled in us by the Holy Spirit that live it on the inside of us. We could not fulfill the law on our own. We could not fulfill the law through self-effort. It was fulfilled by the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, as the, as, as the word says, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. So now you and I are called to walk after the Spirit of the living God. So we are no longer called to walk in the flesh. And that means to be led by the flesh. That means to be led by our appetites, or to be led by our lust, or the things that we desire more than anything. But rather now, we are called to walk by the Spirit of God. In other words, we are called to be led by the Spirit. And when you are and I are led by the Spirit, that simply means that God has taken us, taken us by the hand and is now leading our lives. And so the manifestation of the Word of God comes to pass that says that God orders the steps of a righteous man. God orders your steps, even today. No matter what you may go through today, God is ordering your steps. Amen? You make the plans, but God does the ordering of the steps. So, dearly beloved, know this, that you are not called to fulfill the law. The law is fulfilled on the inside of you by the Holy Spirit of God living in you. And even as Christ walked in this earth and was led by the Spirit of God, so you and I can be led by the Spirit of God. Let the Spirit lead you this day. 
acknowledge him that live it on the inside of you and I say to you today that you not only will be blessed but you will be a blessing God bless you today and keep you